Good morning everyone and welcome back to my channel. Now I have done absolutely nothing to my hair or my face this morning and I've done that for very good reason. Okay, I have just been doing a bit of research and looking at things and I've just again this morning been bombarded with how to make yourself younger, little rules of this, that and the other. Yeah, well the only tea that you're going to see on this channel is this kind of tea. I'm not in to put anybody else down and that some of them have got amazing looks. I'm just going to tell you my opinion. What I don't like about these videos that talk about rules about what not to do when you're over 40 is that when you sit down in the morning to do your makeup, immediately you're thinking negatively about yourself. You're thinking, I'm older, I've got to do different things now because I'm older. You don't do that when you're younger. You don't think, oh, actually, I'm young, so I better not put too much this on because that's going to make me look older. You just, you're free to express yourself. And I just think you start off with the wrong attitude if you're thinking, oh, hang on a minute. Now I'm old. How do I cover this? How do... You've seen that video. I'm not going to go over it. Sorry, I didn't explain. It's a video I did, which I will link below, called Positive Makeup. But it, anyway, it inspired me this morning to come on, warts and all. And I thought I'd do a little bit about my skincare because actually that was another thing I saw. And I'm going, not naming names, but like... If, you, if you've got crow's feet, it's it's too late for eye cream. I mean, does anybody here watching me think that an eye cream is going to get rid of their crow's feet overnight? If you do, let me tell you, it's not. Is it too late for skincare? No, it's never too late for skincare. Whether it's eye cream or anything, you know, it's it's about making the best of yourself and not comparing yourself to others. So lecture over and look at that lovely skin. <laughs> <laughs> so I, do I thought have lovely skin. You do have lovely skin and also my skin is soft and it's a beautiful colour. Jack, you brought up a very, very interesting topic because skin is also a genetic thing. And some people what doesn't matter what they put on their skin, their skin is going to look good because genetically they're predisposed to good skin. And some people are genetically predisposed to a lot of skin problems. And again, it's not about beating yourself up about, oh, I've got acne because I've been doing the wrong thing with my skin. You know, actually, you probably got acne because you're predisposed to it. Um, so, you know, I'm probably going to make a lot of people jealous by saying this, but I've never, ever had breakouts. The odd pimple that once in a blue moon, but I've never, ever had spots, ever. Um, even in my teens, it's just one of those things. I mean, I've had a lot of other things, so I think, you know, to deal with, like, lots of surgery as a child. So, thankfully, him upstairs spared me spots to deal with as well which I had medical shoes that looked pretty ugly, so the fact that I didn't have to deal with acne was probably uh, a blessing in disguise. Sorry, I'm just um, here to sort out my hair. Jack's got good skin. My nan had good skin, um, but I do have hyperpigmentation, and I do have a history in my family of what we used to call the strawberry nose, which is blackheads on the nose, you know, open pores. So have a look at your family as well and you know there's some things that we're just genetically predisposed to anyway i haven't even cleansed my face um so i am going to take you through kind of little mini routine that i do in the morning um i don't always do all these steps but because i've got some time on my hand and i want to show you a little bit of my skin now and i'm going to take a photograph and then my skin when i finished and this is before any makeup Okay, so um, hope you can join me. See you in a minute. Okay, first thing is cleanser. Now, I really like this Bioderma. Um, I've only got a tiny bit left, 
um, but it is very, very good. It's basically one of these micellar waters. I like using that in the morning because it's not going to strip my skin, but it's just going to get rid of all the kind of oils um, that accumulate in your skin overnight, but without drying out your skin. Okay, so I just dab some onto a cotton wool pad and I will go over it. I will turn it round when I'm doing the other side of my face so that I'm not doing both eyes with the same same wipe or alternatively you can use two wipes um, I do give my eyes a very good wipe because I have um, what is known as blepharitis and I probably should use two cotton pads and someone is no doubt going to pull me up on it but I just turn them over and someone um, is no is going to no doubt front foot <laughs> Jack's practicing his front flips on the bed. I do them very well. And I forgot to take a before photo. I'll have to screenshot it from my video. <laughs> okay, so immediately now that will bring back some circulation. Um, I'm going to show you another thing that will bring back a little tip I have worked out if you have puffy eyes. Right Sorry, back. and this is a bit gross, but let me just show you that. Now, I cleansed my face. I double cleansed last night till there was nothing left on my face. So this is what you kind of accumulate in terms of oils, um, dust and everything else on your face overnight. So you do need to cleanse, even if you've done a really good job the night before. I'm sure you know that. Right, I'm going to get you okay, there. I have one of these cleansing gadgets, which is called a Foreo. Now, these are quite expensive, but you can get a very, very miniature one um, reasonably cheaply. And actually, they do some copies as well, which are even cheaper. Um, this one is called a Foreo Lunar Play Plus. So it's intended for travel. Um, what I will say, there's a Foreo Lunar as well, a, a, a sort of mini one which basically once the battery's gone you have to throw it away which I don't think is very environmentally friendly but the Luna Play I think this is a Luna Play Plus um, is about nine pound more and it's got a replaceable battery in it um, and I think this is about 35 pound now it's got some little massaging beads here and then on the other side, it's obviously smooth and the button is there. And it basically very good at cleansing your skin when you put your cleansing products on. Little word of warning, um, I did this when I got it. I went berserk, used it every day, twice a day. Um, it says only use it for a minute. I used it for two minutes. You don't think... No, darling. I just uh, no. I'm talking about cleansing, darling. Why don't you just talk about your first video as well? I will in a minute, darling. Have any right, Jack is not helping because he's taking me right off the subject, and you know what it's like when I get off the subject. There'll be a nine-hour video. Okay, so I'm just um, showing you this. So uh, when I first got it, I really overdid it, and the thing is, you don't realise how powerful it is because it just seems so gentle on your face. I don't use this every day now because I, I did start to notice it was really kind of creasing up my skin and it was getting really a little bit, I don't know, it just looked, it was doing the opposite of what it's supposed to do and my skin was looking quite tired. Um, so just go easy with this, especially when you get, don't go too near your eyes because it's very delicate skin and you don't realise how powerful this is. Now, having said don't go near your eyes, and you have to be very careful, if you wake up with puffy eyes, um, there's a, some little nobbles here at the end. And what I do is I put this on like this, and I get the bone. Don't go anywhere near the other skin, the delicate skin. But just on that bone of your nose, at the top of your nose, where your sinuses are, I just put that on for about 20 seconds because what that does is it gets the sinuses and the tear ducts and everything else moving 
and it kind of helps get rid of the puffiness um, and it just feels really soothing but please don't put it anywhere near the skin on your eyes you're looking at that little crook that will damage it. yeah because it's very powerful and you don't want to damage that skin because it's very delicate isn't all skin delicate yeah but especially the skin under your eyes darling Okay, so it just kind of gets everything moving. And it's really good, it gets your sinuses moving as well. But um, if you want to use this at night, um, it's I tend to use this at night when I really want to cleanse my face well. And maybe I've had two or three days of using a lot of makeup and I want to make sure that my skin is really clean. And I'll put on um, a, a soap-based a soap -based cleanser and I will use this to and it will exfoliate a bit for you as well okay that's my next little tip so next i'm going to do something that's very important now i don't do this every morning um there are it, it the next step is exfoliating um now i don't do this every morning you can get some exfoliating pads that you just um wipe over your face um i've got some called nip and fab which are quite reasonably priced which will just kind of exfoliate the skin but basically um it's important to exfoliate your skin regularly because if you're just putting makeup onto dead skin then basically it's going to look dead um and you want to keep that turnover and as we age that turnover of our skin cells slows down so it's a good way of encouraging the skin to stay really um yeah in the best condition now my nan um she just used literally she used to use a rough flannel every day kate middleton now swears by the flannel the flannel is back the flannel if you use a kind of balm type cleanser is a really good exfoliator because it will slough off the dead skin on a daily basis um and other people use muslin cloths if you're using muslin cloths a little tip if you go to a beauty store and buy a muslin cloth you're going to spend probably five six seven pound on a muslin cloth if you go into boots baby section and get the muslin cloths that you used to put over your shoulder when your baby was young you're going to get a far bigger cloth it's exactly the same as the ones they sell you in beauty products um, and you're going to get a whole pack for about two pounds and they're bigger they last longer and they're exactly the same so definitely go and buy your muslin cloths from a baby section of a drugstore and you're getting exactly the same thing because let's face it they're not going to put something really rough and badly made um, on something that you're going to use on your baby are they no okay so um but next up i'm going to do an exfoliation of my face okay here i am with a wet face and i'm just going to use some exfoliator and this one is a trial size i got of refining facial polisher by amorovitz as you know this week i've been trying out a few of their travel size products and it's bright green look at that but it's lovely and gritty i don't like using facial peels for my skin because I find that they dry out my skin and they make me look wrinklier than I am at the end of it whereas I love the feel of this and as you rub it in the green turns to grey and it just gets rid of all that dead skin why isn't like mom yes I really think you should change your logo to you, like sitting on the chair, and my head above you. Oh yeah, we could do like this. The reason that I've got the one on with Mummy on the scooter is because I picked it out. Well, well that, and also to show people that it's also um, about disability and the fact that makeup and skincare helps me in my condition. Yes, but I ask you to send that picture to me so I could put the logo on. Ah, yes. You didn't even know I was going to put that on, on our logo. No. That was before I got a new channel. Uh-huh. 
Yes, and I have a new channel. And Jack has a new channel, and he does his games on it. And um, sadly, is my computer's broke, so I won't be able to do my, many of them anymore. Ah, oh, well, we'll see about that. We'll see about getting you a new computer. Don't you worry. Okay, so I'm just rubbing that in, making sure, especially where the hyperpigmentation is, that I'm giving that a good scrub. Obviously, I'm not going to get rid of it by um, doing that, but I'm just helping that cell turn over to make sure that any products that I put on are going to be going on to fresh skin which is the other reason why you want to ensure that you exfoliate. Now, it says to keep that on for two minutes. It's probably been on for two minutes by the time I've finished talking. Um, and then get a flannel and take it off. So I'm going to be doing that and I'll be right back. Okay. Put some of this. This is like a toner. So this is the Amoravitsa Queen of Hungry Mist. Um, I'll tell you, the I like Body Shop, Vitamin E. They do a lovely rose toner as well. Uh, and just anything that's just going to refresh your skin after using that exfoliator. The other, My other hero product that I use a lot, I've got hair. Let me just go and find this hair and I'll be right back. Okay, um, so... The next thing I do, I do use this a lot, as you can see, is the Body Shop Vitamin C, Vitamin E even, um, Essence Lotion. Now, what this does is it just, it's used a lot in Korean skincare essences. And I just love this one. If after cleansing, you just feel a little bit of tightness, this just kind of restores your skin to feeling the way it did before you cleansed it. Um... It just feels lovely on the skin. And it's supposed to, whether this is just hype, I don't know. It's supposed to enable your other skincare products to absorb slightly better. I don't know the science behind that, whether it sort of adjusts your pH or what it does to make it absorb better. But yeah, from purely how it feels, you press it into the skin. It just restores your skin to feeling like it did what? before you cleansed it, rather than that tight feeling that you sometimes get, especially when you've washed your face, as I have done after the exfoliator. Now, if I was doing a little mini facial now, I'd put on a mask, hey, but I'm not going to do that. So you could put on a, a hydrating mask, or if you get oily down here, you can put on a clay mask. Charlotte Tilbury's clay mask is lovely and I like it because although it's a clay mask Whoa, it doesn't go hard and crunchy um, it, it's, wow, it's sort of and it's really easy to wash off what I don't like about clay masks is when they go a bit gritty and then as you're g getting rid of them you find bits of clay everywhere Charlotte's isn't like that and it just makes your skin feel really smooth um, other ones I use is um, I use um, let me just check. I'm gonna get the, the one that I use, a hydrating one, that is really. So the good. other one I, is Bioderma, and it's a moisturising mask for sensitive and dehydrated skin. That's really good. You put it on ten minutes, and then you just remove the excess if you've got any excess. Um, and I find Bioderma is really good brand, and you see a lot of people using it. But they haven't got really exorbitant prices. Um, so they're kind of middle of the range. They're not cheap, but they're not the sort of prices of this and Charlotte Tilbury. They are reasonably priced. You can get yourself you can get yourself a set as well with Bioderma. So you can get cleanser, moisturizer, toner in a set, you know, for about I think twenty pounds so you can try things out. And I do use a lot of samples to try out different things. I would definitely recommend that because everybody's got different skincare needs. Um, and it is a matter of trial and error and trying what works for your skin. And it can be quite expensive if you get something and it's not working for you and you end up having to throw it 
So I do often get samples of things um, and you can get that in drugstores or often when you, you order from Cult Beauty, you can get skincare samples or try me kits. Often that's how I, I've been introduced to Amoravitsa. I would not be able to kind of afford to get a whole set of skincare products from Amoravitsa. But, you know, there might be one product in there that I think, wow, I really want to save up and get the full size of that. And I think with them, it's the serums, but they are incredibly expensive. And talking of serums, so that is going to be the next thing that I use. And I have a sample of the gold serum from Amoravitsa, which is absolutely fantastic and exorbitantly priced. But... Um, yeah, I'll talk you through some more affordable ones. Okay, in terms of very affordable and very good serums, definitely check out The Ordinary. I know everyone raves on about them. One I've got is Matrixil and Hyaluronic Acid. Matrixil has got lots of, it's a peptide, so it's very good for anti-aging. Um, I'm sorry about competing with Jack again. Um, he's playing with his friends online. Um, and the other one that I like to use is Reservatrol and Ferulic Acid because you see that in a lot of very, very expensive um, sun creams, uh, sun creams, serums. Um, and they often combine it with vitamin C. And on this, it does say you can combine it with vitamin C. Um, to make it really pack a punch and it's got a real brightening effect so I often use that in the evening and um, the ordinary also do a really good vitamin C they do a variety so I like to mix that with vitamin C um, but this morning as I said I'm going to be using my um, sample of gold serum um, so I will be right back. I'm going to have to squeeze the sachet and everything. So I'll see you in a minute. Okay, so this has got a sort of a, a bit of a gold. It just feels lovely on the skin. This is the second sample I've got of this. Um, and it's supposed to tighten, but it is very expensive. But I've got my eye on it. Who knows? I'll save up. Okay, I can still hear you. And really good as well for you know that crepiness in your neck. And it goes on, it sinks in, but it just sort of when it dries, and I put a little bit under my eyes because when it dries, it kind of you feel it tightening, but not in an uncomfortable way. And I'm sure that someone's going to tell me you shouldn't put it under your eyes, but um, the brand doesn't have any nasties in it. And as I said, I've done a whole video on this before. If you can put it there, which is where they tell you to put eye cream, I don't see why not. Okay. So that's my serum, but any serum will do. Obviously, again, it will depend on your skin, whether you want something hydrating, whether you want something that is tightening and firming, and that your skin changes, which is why I've got different serums, because sometimes I think my skin's feeling dry. I need something that's a bit more moisturizing, so I'll use something with hyaluronic acid and peptides and sometimes my skin's looking dull and my pigmentation is making it look muddy so I will use the Reservatrol and mix it with vitamin C to make it kind of more bright okay and then finally on to the moisturizer okay before I put on my moisturizer I just want to put on this it's Niod fractionated eye contour now this was about 40 odd pounds I'm still not sure whether it was worth it, to be honest. But I do like the texture of it. it it's, it's designed as a serum to go under your eyes. Um, and even, actually, I have to say, even though it was quite expensive, because you only need a tiny drop on your finger, it is quite liquid, by the way, um, 
it's actually lasted me it feels like it's getting quite sticky now but it actually lasted me quite a long time um it's nearly running out it's typical isn't it that just as i'm retiring and my income is about to go down that all my products that i i like to use are about to run out including my magic eye cream uh my magic cream has run out and um but i i've got I've got plenty of things that I can be using. It's just, I want to start using some of them up before I buy new. Um, and here is my magic eye cream. <laughs> Used very sparingly, but I'm just gonna put some of that. I I do, I've still got loads and loads of the um, Tolerian, which is what I generally am using every day. And that lasts a long time. Um, and you get more in it than you get okay, the magic cream, the eye cream. But this has got go retinol in it, so it is going to be good for fine lines. Um, I do put a bit on my lids because I don't understand why people don't put stuff on their lids when that's the first where you get the first signs of crepiness. And then I'm going to use, to be honest, even though I've run out of magic cream, I have got a little travel size left. Why is this not going back on properly? I've got a little travel size left. Um, and that's a good thing at the moment, by the way. You can buy travel sizes of Charlotte's creams and even her night cream. Um, so I'm going to use that. But the, the thing is that I'm finding at the moment especially in the summer that the magic cream is a bit too rich and starts to melt um so i'm going for something a bit lighter and this is the amoravitsa one that i've been using which is an illuminating moisturizer um so it's still for dry skin but it feels a lot lighter um now you can if you've got really dry skin is use a couple of drops just a couple of um facial a facial oil before you put your moisturizer on if you're doing a kind of mini facial and you've got time obviously if you're going out to work this this isn't a routine if you're going out for work but you could put a couple of drops of oil you can also put a neck cream um i'm not going to do that because i've got the serum on it and that's that's plenty i'll just put my normal moisturizer on and that is my skin prepped. Now I'm going to do a little um, screenshot of what my skin looked like before and a screenshot of it now. Obviously I've got no makeup on but I would like to think that my skin looks a bit brighter. I haven't forgot to put sunscreen on. I'm going to do that next um, and I would always, always, always use your sunscreen before putting on your makeup. But I just wanted to show you my skincare routine today. So thanks very much. Join me tomorrow when I'm going to start my series of Foundation Fridays. Before I go, I just wanted to say one thing that I realised if when doing the before or after that it was a little bit unfair to show a screenshot at the beginning and then a nice posed for photo at the end. So in order to show you the difference in my skin, like like for like, the before and after are both screenshots taken from the video so that you can see it with the same quality camera. Um, and then at the end, I'll do you a little posed picture that was taken. No makeup, no filters. There's no point cheating people because the only person I'm cheating is myself. Okay, so um, yeah, hope you've enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to join me tomorrow for Foundation Friday.